Hi everyone and welcome to how to simulate x-ray photography in Photoshop. In this tutorial we'll learn the step-by-step -step process of how to create a cool x-ray Photoshop effect. To get started you'll need two photos, one of a hand and another one with the bones. And you can find these resources using the links in the description below. So back in Photoshop we are going to create a new document. So first of all, let's go ahead and click Create New. And this will bring up this window here. We can go ahead and rename this X-Ray. And we want to create a document with a width of 1920 by 1080. And then once you're happy with these settings, go ahead and click OK to create our new document. And now we're going to use the two separate images for this to work correctly. So let's go ahead and import these images into Photoshop by either clicking or dragging these photos in like so, and then confirming it. So let's go ahead and click them into our photo. And then once we've done that, let's go ahead into layers and we'll just go ahead and hide the bones, the hand bones here and select our photo hand on the wall here. And then what we're going to do from here is we're just going to adjust these photos a little bit. So just hit control T to transform this image and we want to rotate this by 90 degrees. So let's click 90 degrees here like so. And in fact, we're going to want to have the arm sticking out horizontally a little bit. So I'm just going to resize this slightly, rotate this a little bit, just so that it fills up most of the canvas here. So just resize it as you see fit, like so. Excellent. And then once you're happy with the way this looks, just go ahead and click on the tick button here to confirm. Excellent. Now, once we've done that, we're going to use the second image. So go to your layers, select the second image here, and we'll do the same thing. So let's go ahead and select that. Press Control T on the keyboard. We want to rotate this and resize this so that it roughly fits about the same sort of size as our previous image and you can lower the opacity here a little bit just to help you out like so and then once you're happy again just click on the tick button here so you can click on that to confirm excellent and we can always readjust these a little bit later so it doesn't need to be 100% perfect so let's go ahead and hide that image there and then the next thing we want to do is we want to cut out the image. So let's go ahead and select this image here. We're going to right click and we're just going to rasterize this layer. And then we're going to use the lasso tool here. And we're just going to go ahead and draw around our hand. So just press L on the keyboard or click on the button on the left. So just speeding ahead here, carefully going around our hand, clicking on the lasso tool and just sort of cutting out our hand shape. The main objective here is just so that we can get the hand of the photograph and remove any sort of background image from this photo, just so that we can use the hand as our subject. And then once we've done that, we're going to use the lasso tool again, just pressing L on the keyboard and then cutting out the shape of the bones from our second image as well. So just repeating the same steps as what we did with our hand image, making sure that we have a nice clean shape from the bones. And this will leave us with two really nice clean cutout images of our hand subject and the bones of our hand. Alternatively, another way that we can add our bones to the image is by using the blending mode at the top here. So just go ahead and select your skeleton image here. Go ahead and select the drop down 
menu here and select screen. And this will help combine the two images together, giving it a little bit of an X-ray effect that we're looking for. All right, now with the layer selected, press Control T for transform. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to select warp here as well. So with warp selected, we can now go ahead and just click and drag our skeleton image until we have the fingers correctly aligned with the fingers of our flesh hand, like so, just so that we can correctly align the skeleton with our original hand photo. Like that. Excellent. And then once you're happy with the result, just go ahead and click on the tick icon here to confirm it. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and adjust our hand layer here. So let's hide our skeleton layer, select our hand layer, right click, click on blending options, select inner shadow, and we want to adjust some of these settings here. So make sure that the blend mode is set to normal. We want a color of white, an opacity of 50%, an angle of 90 degrees, a distance of three pixels, a choke of 1%, and the size of 46 pixels. We want to leave the contour here at linear and we want a noise of 0% like so. Cool. Now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to start to adjust the inner glow. So let's go ahead and select inner glow here and let's go ahead and adjust some of these settings here. So we want a blend mode here of normal with an opacity of 32, noise of 0% with a color of pure white, like so. Now to adjust the element settings, we want a technique of softer with the source at edge and the choke of 0% and the size of 20. Now for the quality settings, again, keeping the contour here at normal here like so linear and we want the range at 50% and a jitter of 0%. Now let's go ahead and select color overlay. We want to select a pure back black color, a blend mode of normal and a opacity of 100%. And now finally we want to go to outer glow we want to set the blend mode here to screen, an opacity of 28% with a noise of 0%, and the color we want to set to pure white here. We want the technique set to softer, a spread of 0%, and a size of 1 pixels. And then again, keeping the contour at linear, a range of 50%, and jitter at 0%. Excellent. Now that once we've got these settings here, all we have to do is click OK, and you'll see that our hand is now has now got this nice little sort of silhouette shape here. And all we have to do from here is select the background, and let's go ahead and click Layer from Background, right click, go to Blending Options, and go to Color Overlay, and we want to select a color for our background. So let's go to a little bit of a blue color here and just set the color to a slightly dark blue for now. We can always change this later. So once you're happy with your background, click OK. And now you can see our silhouette has a nice sort of white effect to its edges here, like so. Cool. Now let's go ahead and reintroduce our, our bones layer, like so. And we can go ahead and select a nice, round, soft eraser brush. So let's select, set the hardness to zero. And we can go ahead and soften some of the edges of our bones layer here, like so. Cool. Next, we're going to go ahead and add 
a texture effect for our x-ray. So we want to go ahead and go to a website like pexels.com and type in grunge texture. And we're just going to scroll down here and find something similar to this or this that we can go ahead and download and add into our x-ray effect. We can also go ahead and go to Envato Elements and search for similar sort of texture effects that we can add to our x-ray. And then once you've downloaded your texture, head back into Photoshop and all we're going to do is we're going to click and drag our grunge layer into our, our document like so. And then the next thing we're going to do is we want to set the blending mode to screen and let's set the opacity to 20% like so. Now you might want to also make a few size adjustments to it. So just press control T and just make sure that it fills the size of our document like so. Excellent. Now, once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is we want to start and adjust the colors of our photo or our x-ray effect. So let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Select the paint bucket tool and we're going to fill it with a color. So let's go over here and select a color code, which will be 0D8D9B, which is a sort of dark blue color here. And we're just going to click onto our layer to fill it. And once we've done that, go ahead and select overlay as the blending mode. Next, we want to create a new adjustment layer. So just click on this button down here, the create new fill or adjustment layer button. Click on that. And we want to go ahead and select curves here like so. And this will bring up this new properties window here. Now in the properties panel, we want to select green from this drop down menu here. And we want to click and drag the green line on the graph down in the middle here, just slightly down here like so. Cool. Now we want to select the blue channel here. I want to raise the bottom of the graph here ever so slightly like so. And now from here, we want to select RGB. And let's go ahead and adjust the line here like so. Cool. Now make sure that the adjustment layer is above all the other layers that we've got here. And then once the adjustment layer is successfully applied, you'll see that we've got a little bit more contrast for our X-ray effect. Cool. Now let's go ahead and adjust this further by clicking the button down here again. And let's select brightness and contrast. Set the brightness here to 40 and the contrast to about 75, like so. Again, going back to layers, making sure that both the brightness contrast and the curves layer is above all the other layers. And then to add some final touches to the image, we're going to use the soft round brush here. So just go ahead and select the brush tool. Make sure that you've selected a soft round brush like so. And then we're going to add some black spots or dark spots to our image. So make sure our opacity for the new layer, so select a new layer, create a new layer, and the opacity is set to something like 40%. And let's go ahead and select a dark black color. And then using the brush tool here, we want to just go ahead and just create some subtle dark black spots around the image like so. We can just erase some back. Awesome. Another cool effect we can use is just lightening up the area at the top here. So let's create a new layer and let's go ahead and select a white color here. And with the brush tool again, just carefully 
carefully creating the light at the top here. And then we're just going to use a, an overlay mode and just set the opacity back slightly to something like 40%, like so. Cool. So that's it for this tutorial. Have fun creating your own X-ray effects in Photoshop, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.